It is a question as old as the hills. Do we shape our destiny or does destiny shape us? In the spring of 2003, one child of destiny was born in a remote village in Vietnam. Now, Haven Shepherd finds herself in America's heartland. The story of how she got here and the trial she endured won't answer life's deep questions but it just might change the way you look at the world. I believe I'm here for a reason. Who knows what my destiny holds? Haven was born, Vung Thuy Do was her Vietnamese name, and she was born to parents that had been married to other people. They had had an affair and had her and it actually was a tragic love story. They loved each other very much, didn't feel like there was any hope of them being together, and they decided to commit a family suicide. And so they strapped bombs onto themselves and held her, and they believed that they probably held her like this, and it killed both of them, and it blew her out. and then later they had to amputate her legs to save her life. We just decided that we could do the paperwork and bring her home. We went up into the mountains, into the jungle, and it, I mean, it truly is just like on the movies that you see, I mean, it's a jungle, and then all of a sudden we were there. It was just amazing to see her come up and her, older sister was carrying her and she brought her up and she looked at us and I just put my hands out to her and she just went to me. And I knew, I knew the minute that I seen that Shelly reached out for Haven and Haven just accepted her. Haven would be a part of our family. We just had a, an immediate connection. She just looked at me and it's like she understood that we were there to help her and that she was supposed to go with us. Once home in Carthage, Missouri, Haven fit right in with the shepherd's six other children. As the years passed, Haven was just a regular kid, doing things that all young girls like to do. No one really gave a thought to the fact she was adopted or different. One of the things that surprised me the most about adopting Haven is the little things that she did that are just the same as all of us girls. And we're all pretty strong-willed women, and Haven came into our family, and we look at her and be like, I can't believe she's not blood-related to us, because she is a shepherd girl. And I think that's really cool, that even though she's born in Vietnam, that she is a shepherd. Haven had seen all of her sisters run track in high school and some went on to run in college. And so it was her time, finally, to get to run in her little elementary field day track meet. And so she starts to run and she's really honestly running faster than I've ever seen her run. And she gets going too fast and her nose gets out too far and her chest gets out too far. And all of a sudden she just 
lays out and just just falls flat on her face and all the kids run past her. My heart broke that day, even though I acted tough and said, you have to get out there and try again. You know, when you finally, that realization that she's growing up and there's gonna be a lot of hard things in her life and that I have a handicapped child. And you know, to us, she's perfect. And we never looked at her that way. But just that realization is that she's gonna have some hard times and, and I have to prepare her for that. The Challenged Athletes Foundation has seen over and over how having access to the proper equipment can make a life-changing difference for a child. We would go to her prosthetist and uh, she would look in the magazines and things and every time we were like, look at these cool legs, they're running legs. And she was like, those are ugly. I will never have any of those legs. And then after her track meet, she, she said, you know, Maybe I do want some of those ugly running legs, as she called them. Thanks to a grant from CAF, Haven got her own pair of OSA running feet. Now, there is nothing to stop her from chasing down her dreams. I don't think they're so ugly anymore. By being involved with Challenge Athletes Foundation, she just began getting to meet other kids like her. She began to reach out to them and, and show them what she could do and help them. And that's what Haven loves to do. That's, that's who she is. And so we have, we just began to see her confidence build. And this coming year is the first school track meet that she'll have gotten her running feet. Haven can be a champion. Whether she wants to continue the family tradition of running for the Carthage Tigers, or to blaze her own trail for others to follow. Oh, I would love to have Haven on my track and field team. Uh, she's an inspiration to anybody that would be around her and has already battled through enough uh, situations in her own young life that I, I think it would be uh, an opportunity for the kids to kind of gain some insight on uh, mental and physical toughness and they might not have as many excuses if they were doing the same workout with, with Haven as, uh, as they would if she was not there. I think it's really cool to see a young person like that just change somebody else's life. And I look forward to seeing what her destiny really is. I just love her. I love her to pieces. I literally get up every morning and thank God that she is my child every day. And that's, that's a miracle. I believe I'm here for a reason.